different thing. It's a democracy no, no, and you're going to lose your job. I'm sorry, that's two different things. But, Whether she's wealthy or not is has nothing. But it nothing, matters. Wait, no, not to me. It doesn't but, matter to I me. What, 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 hold on, I just oh, want to tell you what matters to me, and then I'll shut up. Oh, Whoopi was now playing with Sonny today on The View. And a lot of people often discuss how Whoopi is um, seemingly mean. And some people say she's jealous of Sonny because of her beauty and her education. Sonny went to college. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So if you're new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed, because a lot of you haven't subscribed, this is the receipts here. Please do subscribe and click the bell. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me play the rest of this clip so y'all can see what happened. And I'll come back with some more. Liz I don't think I don't think we need more Liz Cheney's in office, and I think a Democrat would be crazy to switch parties to vote for a ninety. Just for uh, the primary, though, Sonny. Even for the primary, Joy. I mean, ninety-two point nine percent of the time she voted with Trump. She only took a stance when this insurrection happened. I mean, how? That's a pretty big. That's a but, pretty but, but big. That's a pretty, pretty big low stand. bar when, the, no, when democracy is at stake. You know. She also called Kamala Harris basically a Marxist because Kamala, our vice president. Uh, Vice President Harris was saying things like, you know what, we have so many disadvantaged um, uh, Americans here. There is such a racial wealth gap. Let's give disadvantaged people um, uh, an opportunity to even the playing field. She said that was Marxism. She also dismissed uh, our vice president's dis uh, qualifications by claiming that Joe Biden clearly decided that he was going to make a choice based on somebody's gender, based on their race, and based on his need to placate the very far socialist left of his party. Listen, she also listen, voted against... But this is... But this is I know, but we only got four minutes. That. This is <laughs> not the savior <laughs> no, no, no. of uh, democracy. It's not the savior, but uh, no. look, we but were I, talking I, about a brave woman in Moscow. Mm -hmm. This is done a, it's obviously a smaller level because yeah, her yeah. life is not at stake. But what she's yeah. doing is brave because well, she is going against her own her own people. And, and that doesn't mean that I would vote for her or that you would. She's a wealthy but give woman. That, she but comes two, from no, a no, wealthy no, family. How but brave is it to go against the democracy and you're going to lose your job? I'm sorry, that's two different things. Whether she's wealthy or not is has nothing. But it nothing. matters. Wait, no, not to me. It doesn't but matter to me what, what, what hold on, I just oh, want to tell you what matters to me and then I'll time. shut up. You have time. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> what, what matters to me is that someone from that end of the rope said, you know, this is not okay. Yeah. This is not okay. I can fight about our ideals back and forth, but when you poop on the country and say that a lie is the truth, that what we're talking about isn't important, mm -hmm. and somebody stands up and says, listen, listen, I know you don't like what I'm saying, but I'm going to stand up and say it. I have to, I have to give, I'm, you know, she, I never vote for her. Right. She I'm not going to change her, direction, but I can appreciate somebody who stands up and says, you know what, this isn't right, and I do see that the emperor's not wearing clothes. But I, she, she, she I, voted I, against giving Americans $2,000 during the you're COVID missing, pandemic. You're missing, uh, I think I you can the have point. all the things that you don't but like about not her, but this is the savior of democracy. No, that, well, it's I not about that's, Nobody's talking that's about not, as a savior. I'd say this. I mean, and I think these are valid points. One thing, yeah, I Wyoming. Know valid I know I, you know they're valid points. Um, yeah. Wyoming is not going to elect a, a Democrat that represents your values and Kamala Harris's. I think she's probably the my values best. are American values. Yes, yes. I know. I agree. They are. But I don't think you're going to get a liberal Democrat in Wyoming. I think for the state and for the shared values that people like you and I have, mm -hmm. she's the best bet. The other thing I would say, and this can't go unnoticed, people like Liz Cheney, people like myself and others who've spoken out against Donald Trump, we get death threats. We've all gotten mm -hmm. them. And I guarantee you she's gotten way more than I have. So there's an, a level of bravery that she's showing that can't go dismissed just because she wants to stand up for the democratic process. Well, here's the thing. There are, I know it's going to shock everyone, but there are Democrats in Wyoming. They are, all of the sure. A lot of them have the same values that you have. We see how to do things differently. Yeah. We don't have different values. We value our families. We yeah. value the truth. We value the things that make us American. That, those are the things that unite us. And, you know, she should stand up and say, this is wrong. Yeah. But when you see that no one is standing up and saying this is wrong, this brings her out and makes her shine a bit. And yeah. Mitt Romney also. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, what is his name? The, the, Kissinger. No, no, him too, but Kissinger. the other one. Mitt Lindsey Romney. Graham. Oh, Lindsey. Occasionally, Lindsey Graham stands Lindsey Graham. Up. Oh, occasionally. <laughs> yes, occasionally, Lindsey Graham stands up and says, you know, that's not right.
He doesn't do it all the time. He used to do it look, much more. Look, but Liz he doesn't Cheney do it all the time. Aid to Puerto Rico. Listen, my Liz Cheney votes island. against most of the stuff that we want, that but Americans I will need. give her. I will give her the fact that of the. 300 zillion people who could have just stayed asleep. She got up and said, this is wrong and I'll take it. I agree with Sonny Halston here just because someone of a different party, the Republican Party, for instance, basically is, is standing out against Trump and his minions and saying this is not right. January 6th is not right does not mean that she should be welcomed and, and given her flowers just because she spoke up. As someone who takes an oath in office, no matter what party you are in, Democrat or Republican, whatever, you took an oath. It's a standard for you to do what's right. It's a standard for you to do what's right for the American people. You work for us. We don't work from you. It's it's basically like, and I'm going to say an analogy here, like an 18-year-old girl, an 18-year-old girl saying... I'm 18, y'all, and I didn't get pregnant. No, girl, that's a standard. 18, you shouldn't have a baby at 18. You should not, you should not slip up and get pregnant while you just graduated or, or is about to graduate from high school. That should be the standard, just like it should be the standard for a politician, Democratic or Republican, to work for the people, to align themselves with the people and the work that they need to do with how they got elected in office. You gave us a promise through your campaign system. Unfortunately, for her, it's through nepotism because we all know who her father was, Dick Cheney. And you need to do the job. So, no, I, I would not simply vote for uh, Liz Cheney because she was the principled morality type of Republican. That's just not how I am. I'm going to simply vote for you if you uh, go above and beyond or, or and, and, and stick to your narrative of how you went through the campaign process and do what you're doing. And so, um, for example... Right now, this Biden administration, I'm not so happy with the Biden administration, right? I'm not so happy with high gas prices. I'm not so happy with inflation. I'm not so happy with this pandemic. I'm not so happy with uh, with how the Afghanis were, were treated and, and how troops were pulled from Afghanistan, which Liz Cheney actually did not want to happen because it's now, you know, I'm reading reports and I'm seeing videos of many families in Afghanistan have lack of resources and lack of money. And so they have to sell their own child. To get some money, sell their own child for marriage. So it's human trafficking that they're doing by force in order to survive in, in, in countries like Afghanistan. And I just I'm just not here for it. Right. And we need to help other people as well. You know, not just the Ukrainians, but it's a whole nother topic. All right. So, no, I agree with Sonny on this video. I agree with her in this instance that no, that's the standard. That's the standard. Adam Kissinger, that's the standard. Liz Cheney, that's the standard. And sometimes, like they said in this um show today about Lindsey Graham sometimes being morale, moral, showing morality, but that should be the standard to be moral, right? So I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below um, about this whole situation. Um, let me know. Please do subscribe and click the bell. Give me a big thumbs up. And baby, no, if you have a child and you are a woman, don't get child protection services calling on you. But if I was a mom, if I was a woman and my 18 year old daughter looked at me and said, and, and put it, post it on social media like they often do. I'm 18 years old and I'm not pregnant and I'm, 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 I'm I Child Protection Service is going to have to be calling my ass. <laughs> Deuces. Yeah, yeah.